In this video, we are going to learn about conjectures and counterexamples. In order to do this, we'll actually look at an example and think about what a conjecture would be in that case. So say you were looking at the multiples of 4 and you thought of 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and you know it keeps going like that. But just based on these five examples, you notice something. All of those numbers, all those multiples of 4 are even. So you make a conjecture that all multiples of 4 are even. So what did you do? You made an educated guess based on examples. So that's what a conjecture is. It's like an educated guess based on some specific examples that you've seen. And conjecture is something that has not yet been proven true. So we said this, but we don't know for sure. Perhaps down the line, if we kept listing off multiples of four, eventually we would get to one that's not an even number. But based on the examples we've seen, it is. So that's why it's a conjecture. So it's an educated guess, not yet proven true. Once you're able to actually prove your conjecture, it's no longer a conjecture because it's not a guess anymore. You've proven that it's true. Now, sometimes you'll make a conjecture and it'll turn out that you were wrong. That happens sometimes. So let's look at another example. Say we were thinking about prime numbers and you thought of just some of them. There, you know, there are others, but you thought about, okay, 3, 7, 11, and 23 are prime numbers. And based on those, I'm going to make a conjecture about prime numbers because all four of those prime numbers are odd. I'm going to make the conjecture that all prime numbers are odd. Now you might think that you know something that would prove me wrong. Something that would prove me wrong would be an example of a prime number that is not odd. And anytime you can prove someone wrong with a specific example, that's called a counterexample. So the counterexample to my uh, conjecture there would be the number 2. Because the number 2 is a prime number and it's not odd. So it proves that this conjecture is wrong. So you can always prove that a conjecture is wrong with one example that goes against your conjecture, that's called the counterexample. It isn't possible to prove a conjecture is true by just looking at examples, though. You could look at 100 examples that supports your conjecture, but you still haven't technically proven that it's true, because maybe the next example you look at will prove that you're wrong. That would be a counterexample. So to prove a conjecture is true, you have to use some real mathematical techniques but to prove that it's false, all you need is one example. So the main things you need to remember here are a conjecture is just an educated guess that you haven't yet proven is true for sure. And a counterexample is one example that shows that your conjecture is wrong. 